a quick uh, example of what I mean for a massing model that's pretty much ready to go. Um, all you would need to do is develop your design in such a way that it kind of just fits directly in the model. So the way I'll do this is I'm going to grab a, not a clippy, a clipping plane. Um, model it here, put it there, and uh, I'll turn it off in the front view. There we go. So now I've got my, uh, look at that guy. Okay, so that's my boundary, and um, this is my other boundary. Okay. So um, what I could do for my rapid prototyping, let's say I wanted to study perhaps like folding or something like that. Okay, I want to keep it super simple. Um, in this view, I can, well, actually, let me grab that clipping plane. Turn it off the top view. I'm actually going to move my whole model down so that this is approximately on the mid yeah, something like that. Uh, I gotta move a little farther than that. I want my clipping plane to be below the the act the red axis, right? My my x axis. So that way, when um, I'm modeling and I put project on, it's just gonna stay on that axis. So um, if I wanted to do something like folding, right? And this is just like one of the simplest possible things I could I could ever think of to do really fast. So I'm just gonna take. Um, well, let me develop also. A model thing here. Let's call this uh, massing A. I'll make it, uh, yeah, lavender, sure. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just going to take, like, basically a polyline, and I'm going to start it here. I'm going to pull it over here. Then I'm going to pull it sort of up and to the side, something like that. And I'm going to pull it over here. I'm going to pull this one back over here. Well, actually, let me go out, something like that. Pull this back over here. I'm going to go back even a little bit like that, and then I'm going to go over here. Okay, something like that. Okay, and I'll I'll sort of like calibrate all the sizes of it and everything later on to make sure that I've got the right you know floor plates and everything like that. Um, but really. When you're rapid prototyping, all you've got to do is is sort of, I guess, look at that curve, develop it as an architecture, and then create space out of it. So, if I wanted to um, fill at the corners, let's just do that. Um, let's do a radius of like five feet. Go there. There. There, 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 and then I can offset this thing. I'm going to offset it a foot out that way. Actually, let me offset it a little more. Let's make it uh, 30 inches. There we go, something like that. Okay, I'm going to close this off. that off. Let me grab that. Join. And I'll just kind of get it back on my site a little bit like that. And then, oops, extrude. Okay. So that's, I mean, like when it comes to creating rapid prototyping to study these methods and what you might want to do on site, really that's kind of the extent of it. There's not much more to it, okay? Develop a few masses, you know, figure out an architecture that you like that you want to render, and then go from there. So the final deliverable, and, and I, I will want you to think through the exact space of the geometry a little bit more, like if you're doing floors, if you're doing multiple floors like this, which you're going to have to, they should be like a sensible number of feet apart from one another, like 15 feet or 14 feet, something like that. Okay, I just did it really fast and in a sketchy way. But um, you're also going to need to show um, glazing surfaces. Okay, so I'm going to just real quick, I guess let's do cyan for glazing. Um, all you need to do at that stage is, is just go through and create you know, planes that you can use um, for glazing. And the good thing is you sort of have these curves that you can work with. Um, 
So you can model off of those curves. Actually, let me just pull it back like this. I'm going to go like that, change the object layer there, and explode it. And then I'm going to take um, a line like this uh, with project off. I'll go from there to there. And then you just select it, all the things that you want to you know, use to enclose your space. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. And you just need to create a simple architecture with a simple tectonic, something that actually you, know, you can start to develop a render on. Okay, so you're going to do that sort of throughout your building in order to enclose the space. Does that make sense? Okay, like when I say rapid prototyping, that's the kind of thing I'm referring to. Of course, you're going to have some geometrical discipline in how you do it. You're going to, you know, create proper sizes. You're going to think through, like, is 30 inches right? Is 5 feet right for my thickness? Um, but, but really, the, the level of development for this stage doesn't need to get any farther than that. Okay? What questions do you have? Um, I didn't really call for any number. Um, I, I really just want to have you, you know, by the end of class today, I want you to be at a point where you've got something that you want to work with for the next three weeks. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, be thinking about your portfolios with this, okay? Don't just throw up anything, you know, don't throw up like a Japanese pagoda or, you know, like a colonial house or something like that, okay? Think of your portfolios at least a little bit.